Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about how to create a desktop app using Flutter. So apart from creating native Android and iOS app for Flutter, we can now build web applications as well as desktop app using Flutter. So for creating a desktop app, we just need to switch over to either master or beta channel. We can just check in which channel we are currently in by typing in the command Flutter channel and after typing this command it points that the star points to the master showing that we are currently in master channel if you want to switch between channels that is if you want to migrate to master or beta channel you can uh, migrate by typing the command flutter channel followed by the channel name if you want to migrate to master you can type in master over here and if you want to go for beta channel you can type in beta and after typing this command you just need to type another command called flutter upgrade and after running these two commands you can confirm that you can you have migrated to the corresponding channel by typing uh, again this following command which is flutter channel and make sure that you are currently in that particular channel which you just wanted to migrate to okay so after this you just need to uh, run another command for configuring the desktop app which is flutter config double hyphen enable hyphen and uh, you can specify the platform in which you want to run say for example in our case i am running windows platform so you can just type in windows over here similarly if you want to have a desktop for mac then you can type in mac os and similarly for linux and type in linux over here okay so for now let me give windows and followed by hyphen desktop and plus enter it shows that enable windows desktop flag is set to true so you are good to go with the desktop building app and after this you just need to install visual studio so actually you will be writing all the codes in visual studio code but in order to run and test the app we just need to get the visual studio installed in our local device you can install the visual studio community one and during the installation process you just make sure that the desktop development checkbox is enabled So after installing Visual Studio Code, we just need to type in another command to enable the Windows support which is flutter create space dot. You just need to run this command and after running this you will be able to see that another folder called Windows will be placed right below the web folder. Okay, so let me show that. So after running this command you can now see that the Windows folder is ready up here. So um, and also you can notice that the windows over here that is the devices in which you can run this project if you click that it shows the list of devices where you can debug the project and we can either go for chrome or the emulator or make use of the windows so let me click windows and you can just uh, run the project as usual so let me run the project now so it shows that it is going to run on windows in debug mode ok so let's wait for the project to build up so now our flutter project is up and running in our desktop platform so um, this is the default counter app and you can see that as i press this button the updation takes place in a fraction of seconds it's super fast and responsive and also uh, another thing is like uh, so if you are going to use any external plugins then make sure that uh, developer mode is enabled in your local device so then you will be it allows you to make use of external plugins unless you are not going to use other plugins or third party plugins like that then it's good to go with the um, normal flow hope you guys enjoy this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>